Iraqi government forces are in full control here now. The oil fields around Kirkuk are one of Iraq's two main oil producing areas, vital for the economy. Before the Peshmerga forces withdrew, the Kurdistan regional government was pumping around 600,000 barrels of oil a day from wells like these. This is one of the main processing units at the Bay Hassan field. It used to be exploited by the occupying forces of Kirkuk. Now, thank God, the fields have been handed over to the Iraqi authorities. When the Peshmerga controlled this area, the Iraqi government accused the Kurdish leaders of not sharing oil revenue with Baghdad. So it stopped sending the 17% of the federal budget, as per the 2005 constitution, to the region. Now with the oil fields back under Iraqi government control, the oil ministry has vowed to increase production to one million barrels a day. And it's threatening legal action against the Kurdistan regional government if it stops the flow to the Turkish Mediterranean port of Jihan through a pipeline across the Kurdish region of northern Iraq. The oil ministry isn't taking any risks. It plans to repair and reopen a pipeline that was damaged in 2014 during fighting against ISIL, one that doesn't cross Kurdish territory. As militia and Iraqi government forces fill the streets in the nearby town of Dibis, a Shia song echoes from loudspeakers. Don't underestimate us, Mr. Kurd. We are the ancestors of the grandson of the Prophet Muhammad, would be an accurate translation. Prime Minister Hyder al abadi says in taking back control of the Kirkuk oil fields, he has acted according to Iraq's constitution for the benefit of all Iraqis. The Kurdish government says it's being punished by Baghdad and the international community for holding a referendum on eventual secession from Iraq, which was the Kurdish people's right. We are disappointed at the reaction of the international community. They should not have let down the people of Kurdistan. They have abandoned us at a time that we have done exactly what they have been preaching us. They've been pre preaching us democracy, human rights, rule of law, transparency and openness, going to the public, going to the source of legitimacy. Is this a crime? The Kurdistan regional government is around $17 billion in debt and revenue from Kirkuk's oil fields was vital to compensate for the 17% of the federal budget that Baghdad stopped sending this region in 2015. Now Baghdad has not yet said when or if it will restart sending the money. But with the oil fields firmly under government control, the economic situation of this region could get even worse. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera, Irbil.